Ladies and gentlemen, you're now in the kitchen with Chef Julien. I like that. I like that. I do like that. Hey, hey. making shrimp linguine. Right here, I have all my ingredients spread out. It's real simple. It should only take you about 15 to 20 minutes to make you a delicious meal that's made, most importantly, with love. So let me take you through what we're working with. We definitely have our shrimp right here. We got our linguine pasta, our seasonings. I have a uh, all-purpose seasoning. I have garlic, red pepper, pepper, uh, salt, some broth of your choice. It can be chicken broth. Shoot, you can even use white wine, but in this situation, I'm gonna use chicken broth because this is what I have in my kitchen. I have some asparagus, some parsley, a half of a lemon, butter, um, and then some utensils to start with. Again, this meal should only take 15 to 20 minutes, so uh, let's get started. All right, first thing we're gonna do, make sure our oven is on 350. We can probably do 375. We're gonna do 375, get this asparagus nice and popping. All right, next we're gonna go ahead and put our pot on a boil, uh, fill it up with some water, get this nice and hot, wrong burner. It's all good, put this on high. I'm gonna put some salt in here too, give my linguine a little bit of that flavor, bada boom, bada bang. All right, right now we're gonna season our shrimp. So as I said, I like to use some salts and all our seasonings are gonna just be a nice eyeball. You know how much you need. Some garlic. Pinch of that, a couple pinches of that garlic, that dry garlic. We will be cutting up some fresh garlic a little bit later. Use some black pepper. A couple pinches of that black pepper. Oh yeah, bam. Boom, boom, boom. And then we're gonna top it off with some of these red pepper flakes that I just spilled just a little bit, no worries. Throw that back in there. Bada 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 adds that nice little kick spice at the end that we like. Cool. Grab this, toss this up just a little bit. Those are ready to go in the pan. Um, we're gonna go ahead and take care of these uh, garlics right here. You just lay your, your uh, knife on top of it and you bam. And all that just comes right off, right? Boom, boom, boom. And we'll dice some of this up because we're gonna need it right after our shrimp has gotten just a touch um, pink. Gonna slice that up like sway. So I have my garlic nice and chopped up. That's a fair amount of garlic uh, in proportion to how much shrimp we have. Again, that's about a half a pound of shrimp. Um, I'm also going to uh, cut up some tomatoes, some great cherry tomatoes that really adds to the flavor of the sauce that we're gonna make uh, from our shrimp. Add some richness and some flavor. That should about be enough. Cool. Might add some more, might just keep it like that. So we'll kick those off to the side. Next thing I wanna do is get my asparagus ready to go into the oven. Um, with asparagus, I keep it real simple. Get some tin foil out. Put my asparagus right on top. Like sway. A little bit of olive oil on it. Drizzle that on like that, bada boom. Add some salt. Add some pepper. Oh yeah, let that thing do what it needs to do, like sway. A little bit of garlic. And I typically use salt, pepper, and garlic on just about everything. That's my all-purpose seasoning. Kind of wrap that up, switch that around just a little bit. And that right there. Curl that over, pinch those ends just a bit. That's ready to go into the oven. Cool, so next we're gonna get some of this parsley prepared. Grab a couple strings of this. What we wanna do is take our parsley leaves off of this. Go round this up. Chop this up real nice and finely. 
So now we basically have everything that we need um, when we're starting to cook our shrimp. So now we're gonna actually get to going. So now we're on our stove, our water is boiling. We got our pot out on medium heat. I'm gonna add some extra virgin olive oil. Add that in the pot. That pot's gonna get nice and hot. Add our shrimps. Spread those out evenly. You can already smell that flavor coming off of it. Oh yeah. I'm gonna add some of this uh, Jamaican seasoning that I forgot to add earlier. Oh yeah. All right, cool. So we're gonna wait till this uh, shrimp starts to turn a little bit pink and we're already getting that. And then we're gonna add our garlic. Mix that in a little bit. Turn down our heat just a touch. I'm gonna overcook our garlic because that tends to overcook very quickly. So does our shrimp. It's almost time for us to put our tomatoes, our parsley, and our broth into the mix. Add all that good stuff from the cutting board onto there. At this point in time, we want to put our linguine into the boiling water. It's about that time. We're about seven minutes out from our meal being complete. All right, at this point in time, we're gonna add a little bit of this lemon zest. And then we're gonna squeeze our half of lemon right onto here. Oh yeah, oh yeah. We're gonna add a little bit of broth to this. So that's in there. We're gonna let that cook down for a bit. Looks delicious though. All those flavors and colors on that bad boy. Ah, sucky, sucky. Y'all weren't ready for the first YouTube video, man. Wait a second. I didn't want to do y'all like this the first time around, but damn it, I have to. While this is cooking, I'm just going to add a spoonful of butter. Give it that nice, rich creaminess. Oh, yeah. All right, so our pasta is done. Al dente, as they say. Slice that up, we're gonna drain that off. And I do wanna save just a little bit of water from the drain, cause it's gonna, you know, just keep that flavor, put a little olive oil on it, keep it moving. Oh yeah, that looks great. Flip that over a couple more times. Our shrimp have officially become completely pink and it looks like we're about ready to plate this meal. And ladies and gentlemen, there you have Julian Virgin, a.k.a. Chef Julian's Shrimp Linguine. Bon Appetit.